Are you like me and you have a love-hate relationship with your phone? You know, the truth is this thing here can be a blessing or a curse. When it comes to building a business that provides a life for you and your family that you never thought was possible, be careful about what this thing you know, can do. It can take you away from that dream or it can lead you closer to that dream. So today I wanna to give you the productivity tools that I use in my phone, the things that really allowed me to scale my real estate business and build a life for my family that they never thought was possible. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to coach with me directly in our Time Freedom Challenge. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn notifications on. All right, let's dive in. So I wanna go through the best apps that are on this phone, and I'm also going to and I don't mean to do it in a preachy kind of way. I wanna give you some warnings about some apps on here that will suck the life out of you and will hinder your ability to achieve meaningful goals in the, area, uh, the areas of life that matter more to you than business. So first and foremost, I'm clicking on it now, is Audible. Audible, if you've never used Audible, it basically, I don't know how many books I have in here, 463 books and probably 90% of these I've listened to. When I say that I'm an avid reader, I mean I'm an avid listener. You know, in my car, if I'm going for a run, if I'm, whatever I'm doing, if I'm on an airplane, I'm typically listening to a book. In a book, you have someone's expertise, typically 20, 30 years of their life consolidated into a four to six hour listen on Audible. So that is number one, my favorite app. I'll give you a couple of the, um, titles that I'm listening to right now. Eat to Live by Joel Furman, Margin by Richard Swenson, The Daniel Plan, The Man in the Mirror by Patrick Morley, uh, The Five Day Weekend by Garrett Gunderson is pretty cool. Uh, number two I would say is Strides. Let me pull up my Strides app. Strides allows you to just track your habits. So my habits I track are I wake up and I drink water because you're dehydrated when you wake up and I, I do this vitamin shot, it's called Protovite. That's number one. I do Abide Meditation, which is another app I'll share with you in a second. I read my Bible, I do my daily planning, I close out my day in a specific way, I drink a gallon of water, I do 45 minutes of cardio, I do 15 minutes of strength training, and I have no meals after 7 p.m. So those are all habits that I just click every day whether or not I've done them. And by virtue of doing those habits, and those all didn't come right away, right? So it's one habit at a time. That's advice that I have. Do not overwhelm yourself by putting every habit I just mentioned in the app strides and then do them all at once. It's habit stacking. 30 days establish one habit. What's one habit that will change your life forever? Drinking one gallon of water per day. That will change life forever. What's another one that would change life? Cardio, 45 minutes, five times a week, right? You can set them up sometimes for daily for a certain number of times per week. Um, reading the Bible, daily planning, right? So those are just things that would change your life forever. The next app is Abide, A-B-I-D-E. It's a scriptural meditation app and you can do it for two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It just allows you to, to focus on God's word. And so for me, I obviously have a faith around uh, following Jesus and um, I accepted Jesus in 2009 and I've been on this journey to really understand, you know, why are we all here? What's eternally speaking, what's the impact we can have while we're on this physical earth, right? And Abide just challenges me every day just to slow down and listen to God's word or, yeah, listen to God's word, but also listen for God. What is God, you know, telling me or what is God placing on my heart? Something I can focus on to honor God in my business, to honor God in my marriage, to honor God in my parenting. So Abide app is awesome. Next one, uh, I'm gonna geek out a little bit on this one, is Aura. So Aura is an app that's linked to my ring. So this ring here, it's actually my wedding ring. My wife allowed me to swap out our my real wedding ring for a ring that tracks motion, tracks my body temperature, tracks my pulse. Basically, it, it tells me if I'm getting good sleep, if my body temperature, if I'm wearing myself out, um, and if you're ready, your readiness score. Every day I have a readiness score. If I'm working out too hard, it tells me to slow down and recuperate. And so I geek out on that. I also geek out on an app called Fit Index. So I've got a scale that is Bluetooth to my phone, 
and it measures like eight different metrics on my body. My BMI, my percent body fat, my weight obviously, you know, percentage lean muscle mass. Like it's just this crazy sort of thing that happens and that's super awesome. What else do I have here? Voxer. If you have a team, Voxer, V-O-X-E-R, is a walkie-talkie app. In terms of productivity, your ability to communicate, even with my spouse, if I don't feel like texting something or a text is not adequate to explain, you know, maybe I need help with something, I need her support on something, or something's happening with the kids where, you know, she knows that I might be sort of in a meeting, and um, this allows you to have a, a, a conversation with somebody ongoing but at times that works for them. It's really, really cool. The last one is the native uh, time tracker in your phone. And so let me see if I can find it here. Uh, screen time, so on the iPhone, if you go to screen time, um, it tracks, you probably can't see it, but it tracks all of the apps you use. And I can track Anders and Kendall. Julie won't let me track her app usage, um, but you can put app limits on. So. For Facebook, I have a limit every day of only 10 minutes. Most days, I go more than 10 minutes. It pops up and say, hey, listen, you're at the end of your 10 minutes, make a decision. You want one more minute? You know, you want 10 more minutes, or if you wanna turn off the limit for the rest of the day. In a seven day period, like my daily average for my phone was just over two hours. And in a seven day period, it was, I think like Facebook in the last seven days was an hour and 34 minutes. Here's the not so fun part. And the reason I, I mentioned this screen time tracker is that if you have meaningful goals in multiple areas of your life that are really important to you and that matter, it's gonna be hard to achieve them if you're spending a lot of time on social media or you're watching YouTube on your phone or you're watching Netflix on your phone or you're in news apps or you're watching the stock market or whatever it is for you be honest with yourself about the actual usage, time usage of your phone and where you're spending your time. I, I'm in Gmail, I use Voxer, um, texting, Abide, my Bible app, that's another app that's awesome is my Bible app. Um, the whole Bible, I guess that one should have been near the, near the front uh, of my list. I have the Uversion Bible app, which, you know, so when I read the Bible, I just click on plans, I go to where I'm at, I click, and it actually, the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week. I don't know if you can hear that, but I get someone to read me the Bible and he sounds like Moses and it's just awesome. So I'm like inspired. I'm hearing like, it feels like Moses is reading the Bible to me. And so I think that's super cool. Anyway, I can go on and on. Uh, my parting thought here in terms of um, just your phone and productivity versus this abyss of time suck and dream stealer. Just be, be honest with yourself about where you are and the addiction to your phone. You know, I watched a movie recently on Netflix called The Social Dilemma, where don't watch it if you wanna use your phone. Don't watch it if your kids are on their screens. Uh, it is shocking, you know, the, the amount of science and artificial intelligence that is going into making these apps seductive and sucking you in and having you be sucked in more and more and more. Their goal is to have you spend as much time as possible in that particular app. So be careful, right? TikTok can be fun, but if you're TikToking 90 minutes a day and your phone shows it and you ignore that fact, I would say there's little chance you will achieve the things that really matter, right? More time with family, you know, making more money so you have that time freedom, bringing your stress down, being in social media and on, in the news will just have you feeling like you're less than all the time. It'll have you anxious all the time, and we don't want that for you. All right, if you wanna join me in our Time Freedom Challenge, just go to thetimefreedomchallenge.com or click on the link below. If you like this video, despite my little bit of a rant, my little bit of preaching at the end there, I only do it out of love. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We'll see you on the next video.